Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video I'm coming to you sans makeup because today is Christmas and um, I always do a what I got for Christmas type video. Not to brag or anything, just to share um, the things that I got. Nothing extravagant, super expensive, nothing fun, pretty practical stuff. <laughs> That's what we, we do around here for uh, my family. But um, I always do it late in the afternoon after you know all the family time has passed and I'm back home and stuff. And um, I actually did go for a run this morning. Uh, and it sucks because I always run either after the sun has set or early in the morning before the sun comes up so i never really run during the day but today because yesterday was christmas eve and i slept late and all that stuff i went out for a run around nine o'clock this morning and i was out for two hours and you guys can see how <laughs> i was wearing a hat and sunscreen but you can still see like the tan that i got like my glasses you can see like how dark it is from here my nose and then here a little bit it looks like like mud <laughs> like i'm dirty i showered i promise uh but since it's christmas i don't wear makeup so i put the hat on so it looks a little bit festive <laughs> and hopefully it distracts from what my face is um so anyway i wanted to share with you guys uh little things that i got um like i said nothing fancy nothing extravagant um but my family and i we always keep it very low-key gifts uh because you know some people um are not as financially stable as others so we want we don't want people to feel like oh this person gave me a really expensive gift and i gave them kind of like a a little thing you know what i mean so just things like that um for this year just so you know i did get some makeup i'm, I'm gonna save that for the end oh the floor is cold uh but uh <laughs> i got a lot of well I'll, I'll share the story first i when people ask me this year what do you want for christmas i always say you know I, it doesn't matter give me whatever you want it's not a big deal like i don't care blah blah, blah. but this year because i've been training so hard for my marathon I, I wanted like relaxing stuff so i told people get me bath salts get me bubble bath you know stuff that'll help me relax and <laughs> boy did they deliver <laughs> i i got a bunch of stuff so let me show you guys the first thing that i got here um it's this huge container of bath salts like this is i think it's two pounds um two liters um whatever that is however much that is in pounds uh two thousand grams so i guess it is two two kilos so it's probably a pound i don't know but this smells delicious you guys oh this kind of kind of smells like pledge but not really it does have like the bath salt but do you guys see like the the yellow stuff that's like or like um i don't know if it's orange or lime zest or lemon zest lemon it's lemon zest and you can you can smell the lemon it smells delicious uh these are bath minerals greek lemon detox and reviving from the brand aroma sd i don't know i've never seen these before or heard of these uh but yeah i'm excited to give these a try then i had uh something from a brand that i've never heard before it's the brand salty and these are bath salts in the cedarwood scent uh, which consists of mandarin rosemary and herbs and these are like individually wrapped bath sachets or little packets but this feels like very little there's 10 of them in here uh, but you're supposed to pour one of these in a full tub so it's for 10 baths and i guess this must be super concentrated because i'm used to like the dr teal's ones you're supposed to pour like a cup or a cup or two cups something like major like that uh, but this is enough for one bath and this these are 40 grams per packet or 1.04 ounces so i'm excited it, uh, the scent notes that say in here um seems like something i would like because the mandarin i feel like it will be a little bit like lemon like orangey zesty type scent so um okay it says add one to two bath salt packets so i guess if i can try it with one and if i don't feel like they're not that um strong scent wise or i don't feel like much relaxing i can add two of them so yeah that was this one so that was that was nice because i've never heard of it and then I got not one, not two, not three. 
for four of the big Dr. Teal's bath salts. I got this one that I've never tried before. It's the Soothing Comfort with Oat Milk, Argan Oil, and Essential Oils. This one right here. And then I got two of the Eucalyptus um, and Spearmint. This is my favorite, favorite bath salt scent of all times. It just smells like delicious to me. I could just bathe in it the whole time. And this one, I think it's lavender. I guess this was, they, they ordered these, I guess, online because they came in this with a sticker on there. Uh, but yeah, lavender I've used before. So I'll use like that, like I've said it before, I'll use the spearmint and eucalyptus like in, if I bathe in the mornings. Um, and then I use something like lavender like this that helps you relax and calm down a little bit in the evenings if I bathe in the evenings. And I guess the, the other one, this one, the Soothing Comfort, I guess I can try this one also at night uh, to help me wind down. So I got that and then I got this little ba little um, uh, winter berry bubble bath. So I will try that. I'll, I feel like this would smell a little fruity maybe because of the berries, but we'll see. And then I got another uh, another packet from Dr. Teal's. This is a kind of a kit, I guess. It has three scents, the lavender. The Glow and Radiance Vitamin C and Citrus. And then the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil. So I guess these two are for relaxing and this one was more like energizing. And then it comes with a little sample of the Dr. St Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub, which I've never tried before. So I am going to be the most relaxed person <laughs> in 2023, at least for the next, I don't know, three months maybe. Uh, maybe even more because I forgot I have these. And I have these, and I shot, and I take baths maybe about twice a week. Um, I have been having feet issues. Um, I have my second toe is like super swollen after I run. Um, like this morning, I went for. Uh, sh <laughs> Do you guys hear Toby? He's like, pay attention to me. <laughs> Toby, yeah. Um. Yeah, I went for, uh, I ran for 11 miles this morning and right now my second toe is like super swollen. I don't know if I have something torn or broken. I don't know. It hurts a little bit, uh, but once I soak my feet in some Epsom salts, uh, it really helps. I had to bring him up here because he was just making a lot of noise. Anyway, um, and then I got, uh, along with some this stuff, some of this stuff came with other stuff with it. Um, so I'll just share with you guys more um like body care items I guess I got a Burt's Bee hand salve uh, I haven't tried this I hope it's not too oily if not I can always try it on my feet so that's nice and then from one of my co-workers the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy spearmint and eucalyptus scent I love this it's my favorite scent as evidenced by <laughs> all the Dr. Teal's scents that I got and then I have a couple of like um Pocket bags from Bath and Body Works. This is the mahogany coconut, and this is the lemon and mint. I I know that I like this one. This one, let's sniff it. I haven't sniffed it, and I don't know why I was expecting mahogany teak wood. <laughs> it's not teak wood. But it does smell a little bit coconutty. It smells okay. And then I have some gift cards. I have two gift cards for um, Starbucks. If you have a healthcare provider in your life, you can never go wrong with Starbucks gift cards because caffeine is life. And then I got a gift card for a store called Einstein Bros. Um, this is a bagel like restaurant. They're only open like uh, in the morning to like midday, like mid afternoon maybe. They close at three, I think. Uh, and they have the most delicious bagels. You can have like just plain bagels or you can have a breakfast bagel with like egg and sausage and stuff, or you can have a bagel sandwich um, with like, like a regular sandwich, but with bagels. Um, I love this place. I have tried, they always, we always have like these kinds of bagels at work because you can buy like the big box with different ones. Um, and I'm excited to try it. So uh, yeah, that's this one. Then I got some uh, Scentsy in the Amazon Rain scent. Um, I haven't used my candle wax warmer in a long time, so it's going to be nice to um, get this guy out. I have been getting kind of sort of into candles. You guys saw my Bath & Body Works 
um, haul recently so it's gonna be nice to have some wax to burn and then just other little things that I got I got this it's missing one because I already I used it last night <laughs> uh, but they're like hair clips and they're super they're super cute I mean look at these they're super super cute and I want my hair um, kind of like short it's a little bit longer than shoulder width uh, and then I don't have to worry about putting it behind my ear I just I had my hair like curl, curled, like wavy, and then um, I had a clip on one side. It looked really pretty, I should say, <laughs> if I say so myself. So that's that. And then I got a new batch reel for my batch at work, and it's so cute. It's a colon. I work in the endoscopy unit, <laughs> so the, everybody has like a little colon, and one of my coworkers, with a, she gave me a little bag with some of this stuff in it, and this came in it as well. And... Uh, it's so cute that it's a little colon. I love it. I'm excited to put my badge in here. And then a little um, heart-shaped stethoscope type thing. So that's that one. And then uh, for uh, a Christmas party that I went to, uh, for my gift exchange, if you guys didn't know this already, I'm a huge nerd and I love puzzles. And this is the puzzle that they gave me. <laughs> it's a donut-shaped puzzle. Uh, I'm super excited to try and um, do this one. I've never had a, a round puzzle before, so we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. And then um, I did get um, some, I did get some makeup. This one was gifted to me also. It's an eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. This is the Pumpkin Spice Second Slice. And this is nice. However, I'm surprised because Too Faced usually has like the tin containers, but this now is cardboard. I guess everybody is feeling the rise in price of everything. But this is what the eyeshadows look like. They're very pretty. I always end up getting, many years ago, when they first came out with these kinds of palettes, I asked for one for Christmas. And it feels like every year I've had that, that um, version of the holiday palette gifted to me for Christmas. <laughs> so I have like pumpkin spice, like the gingerbread. I think the gingerbread one was the first one. And then I think the gingerbread extra spicy or something like that. Anyway, I, I think this is the fourth palette that I have in that in that collection. Uh, so I'm excited that I got it. And then my sister that uh, lives, lives from out of town, she sent me a package in the mail and she sent me a few things in there. This one is a kit from Bio Essence, the uh, Rapid Radiance Set. It has some um, squalene vitamin C rose oil, some squalene and lactic acid resurfacing night serum, an eye cream, and I guess a regular moisturizer for the nighttime. So I am, I've used uh, squalene uh, before, but this one and these three other two I've never used before, so I'm excited to try it and see how I like it. Then she sent me a uh, the Inky List, I think that's what it's called, Winter Skin 101. It's another little uh, kit. You guys know I love things in kit. In kits, you have the cleansing balm, which I, does that remove your makeup? Uh, yes, to remove makeup. And then step two, which is the hyaluronic acid. Step three, the retinol. And then number four, uh, the eye cream. So this is going to be nice to try. It's funny because I just did my makeup and, and skincare inventory, so... The numbers are not going to be accurate anymore, but we'll save that for 2023's uh, skincare inventory and um, makeup inventory. And then she also sent me this little kit of the Makeup by Mario's Lip Lift Kit. It's a lipstick and a lip liner. You guys know red is my color. I haven't even opened this. Um, red is my favorite lipstick. Oh, is this? Oh, it's a mini. Oh, good. It's not a full size. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, internally, I was like another full-size lipstick. You guys know I panned a full-size lipstick last year. This looks pretty full-size to me, never mind. Um, it looks like a matte blue-toned red, which is my favorite kind of red. And we'll see, we'll see how it applies. I don't want to swatch it because I'm not planning on using it anytime soon. And then it comes with its own lip liner. Oops. Um, that's the color right there. This one looks like it might be deluxe size, but... This other lipstick, actually, the bullet looked pretty, pretty full size. So, so that's this one. And then she, since she sent it in the mail, um, she added two samples. The first one is the Victor Roll, Victor and Roll Flower Balm, which I've used before and I know that I like. And then the Kiehl's Powerful Stretch Line Reducing Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum. 
I wonder if I try this <laughs> on my tan, if it'll help lighten it, but that's this one. And then for a word for my secret Santa, <laughs> this is gonna mess up my numbers. Um, I got this huge makeup kit thing. Um, it's funny because when we wrote down our names, we put things that we enjoy. I didn't put makeup at all on the things that I liked uh, or things that I was into, but uh, the person who got me this is always complimenting me on my makeup. They always have something to say, so I guess they knew that I was into makeup and that I like makeup, so they just, I guess, decided to just go and get me makeup, uh, which is okay. Um, I did look at this um, already. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Let me take it out of the box so you guys can see it. I can already tell you guys I'm gonna be getting rid of some of the stuff in here because some of it is not very pigmented, uh, but I'll save that for another video. So it comes with four quads, okay, right here. Four, I mean, three loose powders. They're super shimmery and super like bright. I love these, I already swatched them. And then it comes with two lip glosses and then there was a lip liner in here somewhere. Okay, well, there's an eyeliner here. Super creamy, I, I, I swatched it. And then on this side, it has three lipsticks, three, uh, two eyeliners and a brown, no, two lip liners and a brown eyeliner, a little mirror here, a uh, uh, sharpener. And then on this side right here, you have three blushes, which are super, super pigmented. My gosh, you barely tap them and like it, like, it looks like pigments, really. And then a bronzer that's not very pigmented, unfortunately. And then this little case is for you to put the blush in there. That way you're not having to use the blushes um, separately. And then on the top, you have, sorry for the glare, you have some like manicure stuff. You have three little mini um, nail polishes and then some um, like cuticle nail type uh, nail filer tools. And then of course you have the huge big um, plastic container that this comes in. Um, so yeah, like I said, some of the stuff is really nice, but unfortunately some of the stuff is not very pigmented, um, especially this bronzer right here. But um, overall, it was a nice, nice gesture. Um, story with this guy, this thing, um, the the person actually gifted me two of these. Like when I opened the box, it was two of these. And I was like, did you like, did you order these online? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you got, like, I got two of the same. <laughs> so I gave him one back. I hope this, not, this is nice. Like I wasn't trying to do it out of a bad place. Like I wasn't coming, it, I was hope, I hope it doesn't seem like I was coming off the wrong way. But like, realistically, I don't need two of these. Like, so I told him, you should probably return the one. Um, he was like completely shocked. He's like, there's two, really? And they're the same? And I was like, yeah, I think you made a mistake when you ordered them. Um, so I I gave him one back. Because really, there's no need for me to have two of these. And I would have felt even worse if I had like gifted this, like re-gifted a gift. I don't like to do that. Um, so I told him to just return it and get his money back. So I hope he did that. So uh, Anyway, that's all I got for Christmas. I did um, here from um, two people that I didn't get to see before the holiday that they had something for me so we'll see what they have but other than that I am very happy because I, I'm gonna use all of it there's nothing here that I am not like, gonna be that I'm gonna be like oh you know I have no use for this or because you know sometimes you end up getting gifted like I don't know things that you're not even into uh, but everything that I got I enjoyed so even though there's nothing like super extravagant, I am super happy with everything that I got. Let me know in the comments what you guys got for Christmas, what was your favorite gift, and let me know if you've ever re-gifted a gift or if you've ever returned a gift that you didn't like. I'd be really, really excited to hear you guys' uh, answers to those questions. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday with your families and friends, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.